Hello, it's Migos and Possible Amigos. My name is Taffer16, and welcome back to another reaction video. And welcome to my second reaction to Great Movie Mistakes. This is not something I really anticipated, admittedly, when the first time I did it, uh, doing a sequel to. But honestly, I like stuff like this. Like, I'm, I'm sure I, I can't be the only one. I'm sure a lot of you have been down this rabbit hole, you know? Like a rabbit hole of just watching mistakes in movies. It's a fun rabbit hole to go down. Um, and we're gonna go down it, down it again right now. Great Movie Mistakes 2, the sequel. That works out for this video too. <laughs> hey, that actually, that actually fits pretty well. <laughs> How about it? Hello, hey and welcome to Great Movie Mistakes 2. Even more goofs, gaffes, mess-ups and blunders that Hollywood's brightest thought we wouldn't notice. Wrong. Guess they weren't counting on our crack team of noticers. Of they crackers. poured over literally hours of film footage to compile another classic collection of cinematic clunkers. On tonight's show, Moulin Rouge, The Hangover, Pearl Harbor, oh, Transformers, God. And the Silence of the Lambs. Next, we come to another classic movie mistake, crew in shot. I once saw a classic example oh. of crew in shot. <laughs> That's because the film was shot in the Cheshire town of crew. <laughs> Seriously. I'm talking about when the film crew end up on screen, which is ridiculous because they're not as important as us actors. OK, OK, I'm sorry. They're just as important. Sure do you. No, they're not, Rolvy T. Maybe Here's Cuba Gooding Jr. wondering what he's done to deserve a role in cinematic uh, I see him. Pearl Harbor. But Can I just say, I really feel like Michael Bay doesn't get enough shit for the fact that he took one of... He took the Pearl Harbor bombings and made it into an action movie. <laughs> like... Can you imagine someone making 9-11 into an action movie? I, I don't think that's happened on a grand scale. Maybe it will in 30 years as people get more desensitized. And, and like, I get it, you know. People don't feel the impact of Pearl Harbor anymore because it was, like, fucking, what, 80 years ago at this point? But still, bro made, bro made an action movie out of the Pearl Harbor attacks. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> Keep your eyes on the left of the screen. That's no Navy crewman. That's a film crewman with a remote control for the camera. Dear Lord. That's a really obvious one, too. Oh, Taxi Martin Driver. Martin says he's masterpiece Taxi Driver, and it appears that Travis Bickle has noticed something out of his window. Maybe I... it's someone looking at him. He really hates people looking at him. Ah. Hang on, who was that? Let's see that again. Oh. It's the reflection of the cameraman and the guy pushing the dolly. <laughs> they really were looking at him. They say Ghost. that great art holds a mirror up to life. Hey, where do you want this? Uh, in the bedroom. But in the movie Ghost, they're holding up a mirror to the film crew. God. There they are. Yeah. Okay, we'll let them off that one mistake. Yeah. Hang on. There's a lighting stand in the shot too. Like it, huh? Like. Like is hardly the Doing word. Doing mirror scenes got to be hard. <laughs> Apart from the ghost, he's a ghost. Oh, here's surrogates. In this film, everyone has a robotic copy of themselves. So don't worry, all these people falling over are just robots. I haven't seen all this. robots. Apart from the film crew standing around the corner, uh, they're not robots. They're idiots. <laughs> I have not seen this film. Anybody? Is it any good? Alfred Hitchcock used to have cameos in his films. So it's no surprise that Spielberg wanted to do the same. Actually, he didn't want to. He just <laughs> stood right in front of the shiny reflective phone booth. Hi, Steve. Emma's goofy ass shirt. Now, Ridley Scott's film American Gangster. Ridley is famed for his hard work, so you can forgive him putting his feet up and watching a bit of telly. There he is. Interesting places. Oh, let's go. This is the Triple Rock Baptist Church from the film The Blues Brothers. But even the frantic dancing can't distract you from a crew member blatantly running through the back of shot. Yeah. 
Not so much Blues Brothers as... Where's the nearest Blues Brothers? <laughs> I just thought of that myself. Yeah, it's pretty good. So exciting, the audience was Baz Luhrmann captured the look, the feel, and the spirit of a 1900s Parisian cabaret in Moulin Rouge. Uh, he also it. managed to capture a stagehand wearing a baseball <laughs> cap and wristwatch, swinging this actor back and forth. Uh, hey, Mum, I told you I'd make it in showbiz. Finally, it's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I don't like this You know, one. they're always telling you what to do, what not to do, and it's not conducive to a creative atmosphere. The great thing about a remake is that you can use technological advances to eliminate all mistakes. I didn't like this remake, personally. Or you can just lob some whopping great glasses on Johnny Depp and see a camera in the reflection. Either's good. If you don't believe me, you should ask. Let's look now at continuity errors. Those tiny little mistakes that filmmakers fail to spot. So there are small changes in scenery, or props, costume, or even hair that make the scene almost unwatchable. All right, you get the idea. Two hours it's taken us to film this 30 second link. Two <laughs> hours. I hope you're happy. Uh, uh, what? It's Wrinkle Fest Wild Hot. Well, that's gonna stay. <laughs> Look like you... A tough guy at the back has mustard all over his forehead, nose, and cheek. Spicy. <laughs> now, but in the next shot, his face is practically clean. The needed message repeat. When the director saw this, he was furious, according to my sources. <laughs> sources! <laughs> Shallow Hal now, and oh. a scene stealing Here. performance from Jack Black's towel. You know what I'm saying is she's got cankles, for God's sake. First, it's in his hand. What? Cankles. She's got no ankles. It's like the calf merged with the foot. Cut now it's on his neck. Head. She's got like coffee cans I know down what there. cankles are. Rosemary doesn't have them. Now it's gone. You know what? <laughs> I know what you're doing here. You're scared. Scared of getting upstage scared? by a towel. Yep. I if I belonged to a group known as the Losers, I'd probably not play cards. True. But keep your eyes on the guy with glasses. His card has a picture of a woman. She's lying down. But all right. All right. Oh, Let's go. Oh, okay, it's a game. Right, standing up. I uh. will raise you. Yeah. You don't want to do that. Oh, no? It's a piece you got off that Honduran general. Lying down again. Okay. Who's the loser yeah. now, losers? I'm definitely. Who plays Parker of Guns? You can feel it. Phone booth. I remember Gritty this movie. thriller. Oh. Colin Farrell on a worn and tattered phone. I remember anyway, this one. he spends the whole film nattering away. Take a look at that. And by the end... The sticker is brand new again. I mean, no one yeah. Phone booth or TARDIS. The killers that get the cover of Time magazine, right? I saw that movie once. I remember liking it. TARDIS, I reckon, because at the start of the movie, he takes his wedding ring off. Uh, that old trick, eh, Colin? A bit later, it's still off. Look, it's our friends from channels two and five. Your local news, Stuart. You can never do this for any of your clients. And it's then just, magically it, pops me. back on his finger. It's kind of like a scream spin off when you think about it. <laughs> so they can get a better angle on you. In a weird way. Uh, we've all been in this position. I love before. this movie. Hey, hey there. Wait, what are you doing there? Oh, no, 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 no. Stranger wait, wait, danger. Okay. No, Stranger wait, danger. Wait, wait, it's okay. Stranger wait, wait, danger. But watch the toilet roll as it comes out of the bin. In this shot, it's clean. Ugh. And now it's covered in debris. Yeah. <laughs> Toilet roll. Clean one minute, filthy the next. Nothing new there. Our audition uh. scene in Bruno now, but it's the cowboy hat on the back of the door that's making all the right moves. Hello. Hello. I'm looking for my wife. My wife. Shut up, women. That's it's move. <laughs> I couldn't hear your voice. And it moved again. Or laugh about it with you. <laughs> Should call it Boar Hat. Huh. Here we see Will Smith literally in the pursuit of happiness. Don't move! Don't move! Stick! Doesn't he realize it's an unachievable goal? When he says don't move, he's actually talking to that green sticker on the side of the train. See it? Maybe that's the key to happiness. Oh. oh, unlucky Will. It's gone. I've always found it easy to tell my left from my right by using the simple system of not being an idiot. But movie makers <laughs> seem to mix them up all the time. It's not just stupid, 
It's dangerous. What is this room you're in? I found this out the hard way during a particularly aggressive round of the hokey cokey when I put my left foot in to the face of my ten-year-old niece. I cross my heart you'll never catch me making that sort of mistake again. Holly. Mm. Holly. Mm. Mm. Outland Lost. Holly. Titty. Yes, Holly. First up, we have Land of the Lost, Holly. a comedy Me? about a little hairy Holly. man who touches people you? inappropriately. You? Anyway, watch the hand, not the boob. Chaka. Chaka. The left hand on Anna Friel, and now it's suddenly the right hand. Holly? Clever monkey. Chaka. Yeah. Will. Will. Mm. Val Kilmer now, an actor so mesmerizing he can make you forget which side is which. It's not a long shot. Harry, you're not listening to me. You're not gonna get Harry! Harry! You're not gonna get the left hand on Robert Downey's mouth, and now it's the right. That's some seriously powerful acting. Next up is the horror classic Silence of the Lambs, and take a look at this door. The handle's on the right, right? Right. This film makes everything unsettling, even changing which side the door opens on. Oh, yeah. Oh, creepy. Boo. They use a different door and they fast forwarded. Ah, the hangover. We've all been there. A big, crazy night out, and you don't know what you're doing. I happen to find $80,000 worth of Bellagio. You hold something in your right hand, and suddenly it's in your left. It'd be like that sometimes. Woo, yeah, we're American. Yep. <laughs> Here's everyone's second favorite magical babysitter, oh Nanny my God. McPhee. Oh, look, she's making statues come to life. I've seen Nanny McPhee, actually. Not as impressive, though, as making the sidecar go from the left of the I bike. I don't know I've seen this one, though. To the right. Oh. See, even the lion's disgusted at this movie mistake. Sean Penn now in this Oscar-winning performance as Harvey Milk. A powder blue pen to sign the city's first gay rights law. <laughs> but don't watch that pen. Do watch enough. this one. Swift. The sooty bloke holds it in his left hand. Substantive move for civil rights. But he signs with his right hand. He realized he wasn't left handed. <laughs> right old load of old nonsense, more like. Here are the two stars of Fired Up. I can't recall their names. Presumably running away from a massive horde of fans. When they jump over the wall, Blondie oh. is on the right, but in the water, they switch places and he's now on the left. Echoing my thoughts when I watched Fired Up, I wanted to swap places with someone not watching Fired Up. I have not seen it. Hey, I'm Nick. Sean, can we use your pool? You're already using it. Finally, a clip from the movie Very Bad Things, starring Cameron Diaz. Whoa. Cameron's no stranger to very bad things herself. In this scene, she's just read the script for Charlie's Angels 2 Full Throttle. Ooh. But keep an eye on the spray and the brush. What the hell happened As to Cameron Diaz? From a crane shot to a helicopter shot, they've suddenly switched. Well done, Cameron. You've been upstaged by cleaning products. I might need to see that one out of context. Transformers, a series of films in which a variety of motor vehicles turn into a variety of robots. Now Michael Bay again. I'd love a car that turns into a robot. The only thing my car's ever turned into is my drive. I don't really have a drive. The films were directed by Michael Bay, a man who loves action so much, even his diarrhea is explosive. And of course, <laughs> they star Shia LaBeouf, a man who's no stranger to mistakes after his parents chose to call him Shia LaBeouf. Got him. Translated into English, his name means, look at these terrible movie mistakes, LaBeouf. Michaela, do not touch it, okay? All kinds of things the first one was good. in these films, it's fine. It's such as the no empty space it. on the floor. Down it. Oh. You're hot, but you ain't so bright. Suddenly, here's some there cigar boxes. Yeah, that'll work. And a couple huh? of mouse traps. Oh. Oh. Clever, yeah? No, it's awful. What are you looking at, slab of puss? Egypt and Jordan like the tip of a blade. 29 and a half degrees north, 35 east. Here it is. Here's Shia LaBeouf speeding through the Egyptian desert. But don't let the pyramids distract you because that's the shadow of the camera van driving alongside. Ah. We got cops. Rule of one when talking to a huge angry robot 
Concentrate on what he's saying. Come here, boy. And don't move around. First Shire's at the top of the stairs. Okay. You remember me. I thought no, he was talking to Megan Fox for a second there. He's jumped from here to here. Okay. He walks Just fast. Don't hurt him. And he's moved again from here to here. He walks fast. <laughs> That'll teach him. It's like Shire the Hedgehog. Gotta go fast. You get with handcuffs too now. Watch huh? out for Shire's hoodie in this scene. Right. One moment it's off. Yeah. This is real. <laughs> And now it's on. I have a record because I wouldn't turn my dad in. <laughs> what but if you had to sacrifice anything in your perfect little life? Still on. Tense moment. Big guys, big guys are big guns. What is second? And now it's half off. Answer me. I'm the one who asked. A clip that features self-removing clothes and none of them on Megan Fox. Unbelievable. I feel like there's one to showcase her awful acting. <laughs> Here we see our heroes getting hot and bothered in the desert. Shire's trying to cool off, waving his jacket around like a madman. And suddenly it's gone. Shame. It was 30 quid from Top Man. Well, maybe he... That, that one's kind of a that stretch. Maybe he dropped it. The next scene, it's back in his hands. Oh, never mind. He really <laughs> jack it in. <laughs> <laughs> Try to do Here's solid a action scene from director Michael Bay. The wheels on the bus don't so much go round and round as explode in a fiery ball of metal and human flesh. Hmm. I say human flesh. But looking at the clip again, we see that the bus doesn't have any passengers or even seats. Just a dummy driver. They have average. It's as empty as a local cinema showing a Shia labeouf -thon. Obviously, actors don't do all their own acting themselves. Sometimes they're replaced with a body double or even a dummy. It's ridiculous. You can't replace talent with a dummy. Isn't that right, David Mitchell? That's right, Yari. Although I should say, you were always the talented one. See, I got never him. use a body double. Why would I when I've got a body like this? Are you going to put in a six pack in post? No. Cheers. <laughs> First up, it's 80s classic Fatal Attraction. Oh, well. Here we see Michael Douglas having a bit of rough and tumble with original bunny boiler Glenn Close. Oh, wait, that's not Michael Douglas. Oh. <laughs> Let's have another look at him. Wait for it. Hang on. Is that Jerry Seinfeld? I was gonna say. Well, it looks more like him than Michael Douglas. Work's probably dried up since the sitcom finished. Don't turn that engine on, I swear to God. Oh, oh, oh. This scene from Role Models features Ronnie, a small boy no, stealing a car. No, no, no. No, 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 if there's anything funnier than children recklessly endangering their own lives, I don't know what it is. But don't worry, all the actual driving is being done by a much taller, fully road legal no. stuntman. So they grow up so fast. What are you doing? No, it's not Dancing on Ice, it's edgy thriller Ronin. I've always thought that ice skating was a popular sport, but apparently not. Look. They've had to uh. fill out the audience with cardboard <laughs> cutouts. There we are. That's it, mate. Take a closer look. It's like sports in 2020. Thomas Jefferson once shot a man on the White House lawn for treason. Speaking of two-dimensional cardboard characters, here's John Travolta up to his old tricks in the movie Swordfish. Shooting guys and blowing up people. Ooh, but that's not a people. It's another dodgy look-alike dummy. Those guys should really avoid cars altogether. Yeah. The Blues Brothers, all singing, all dancing, and all couldn't be bothered to turn up for the crowd scene. Uh. Those are actually two mannequins at the back. Typical. A saline solution? You now, most people's legs would turn to jelly if they were about to be tortured by Gerard Butler. This is but this guy's left foot has turned to rubber. Comfortable. Because it's fake. Oh. Boing. You are shaking. Are you all right? Right, that's all we've got. Remember, oh. as long as there are movie mistakes, there will be geeks to laugh at them. Fuck yeah. Good night. Wait a minute. A lot of Michael Bay in that, yeah. <laughs>
I didn't realize, Jesus, like, a good, there was a, that was only, like, what, 19 minutes? And almost felt like five of that was Transformers. I didn't realize how sloppily made that was. Um, we need to start a dialogue about Michael Bay being the worst director of all time. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I I'll start the dialogue <laughs> if you want. <laughs> I've never been, never been a huge fan personally but you know if you like explosions i guess like the explosions thing is a meme but it's also true <laughs> nobody watches a fucking michael bay movie for the dialogue they they watch it for the explosions and occasional hot girl you know i mean man made pearl harbor into a fucking okay i look again i look forward to 9 11 action movie and fucking coming in 2050 because at that point it probably will. Dear Lord. I mean, there's been movies with 9 11. There's, I, I don't think there's been a 9 11 action movie, is there, though? I don't think we're there yet. I, I, give, give it a, give it at least 20 more years, though. Maybe 30. And, and we'll be there. But yeah, I, I love, I love stuff like that. You know, it, it's, it's a fun rabbit hole to go down. I, I used to watch, I've never seen that show before I reacted to it, but I've seen, um, videos you know just just videos on youtube and uh, compilations and stuff like that so i mean it's always fun it's always fun it's a good it's a fun thing to go down but that is it for my second reaction to greatest movie mistakes i hope you guys enjoyed it that is it for me today thank you guys for watching if you liked the video be sure to leave it a like if you didn't like it don't if you want to follow any of my social media links they're all in the video description down below as well as names all my patrons if you didn't know you can be a patron me for as little as one dollar or one pound you get extra reaction videos as well as reading your comments up to date early sometimes more well that being so done, my name is Taffer. This has been my second reaction to great movie mistakes, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.